Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims, and welcome to episode 60 of Pleasant View. This is Don Lothario, the Silver Fox. It was the morning of Don's 60th birthday, and he felt introspective, reflecting on all the women he'd known and loved in his youth, wondering if he'd still have the same effect on them after he aged to an elder. As much as he just wanted to get on with the party, he had to pay his taxes first. 3,200 simoleons due. He couldn't believe how much the city was taking these days. And now he barely had anything left for a decent party for his 60th birthday. After the taxes were paid, Don decided he was going to start the celebration early. He used a vacation day to stay home from work. Then he rolled the want to invite over Dina Landgrab and Dirty PJ's Jen. He really had to stop calling her Dirty PJ's in his head. He couldn't decide who to choose, so he chose both. He'd invite Dina over first, and after she left, then he'd invite Jen over. That would make for some great pre-party entertainment. Don saw Dina walking up the drive and rushed outside to greet her. He thought she looked as hot as ever. This was her old condo Don was living in, and she was happy to see her old digs again, and Don, of course. But she didn't dare tell him that, and she certainly didn't tell her husband Malcolm Landgrab where she was going. She and Don had been having an affair long before she married Malcolm, and she even gave birth to Don's child, although no one, including Don or Malcolm, knew about that. She's the only one who knows. Don just wasn't rich enough for her to marry, and he didn't want to commit to her anyway, but she certainly liked to visit him from time to time. Dina wasn't really a cheat. She loved her husband Malcolm and their children, but there was just something so irresistible about Don. She could never refuse him when he called her. She wouldn't be attending his party tonight. It just wouldn't be appropriate to be seen here. She was terrified someone would put two and two together and figure out that little Faith was Don's daughter and not Malcolm's. So she just tried to stay away from him in public as much as she could. She would just congratulate him now and be on her way. After Dina gave Don his birthday present, she quickly got dressed and left and went back home, leaving Don to prepare for his next conquest. Don is now sleeping it off after Dina left, um, taking a little nap here. It's about 1.15 on Monday afternoon. We do have to get Don ready for his birthday party. He needs to go to the bathroom, get something to eat. Before Dina came over, he rolled the want to invite her and Jennifer over. Once Dina came over, he started rolling wants to make out and woohoo with her, so he no longer has the want to invite Jen over. But he does want to woohoo in hot tub, so I think I'm going to go ahead and invite her over anyway and have him woohoo in the hot tub with her before we start the party. Now, he needs to wake up and clean up his house because <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Downstairs, you can see he's got an old newspaper, some old instant food cans, and he really needs to clean up this mess over here in the garbage before he gets roaches. So I'm sending him outside to do that. We don't want the house to be too much of a mess when he invites everybody over for his party. Next, we're gonna take care of his needs and invite Jennifer over and try to get him one more woohoo in before he starts the party. It's already two o'clock, so we're gonna be cutting it close. Don's calling to invite over Jennifer Walker now. Jennifer, we call her Dirty PJs because she is the downtown slob who wears the dirty PJs. It's really unattractive, but Don likes her a lot. They actually have three bolts together. Um, you can see right here, and the only other person he has three bolts with is Nina. So she's like second on his list. He just loves those sloppy PJs. I don't know what it is about it. Just drives him insane. So we're waiting on her to come over. And he's just going to not waste any time. He's just going to get right to it as soon as she gets here. And he just got paid for his day at work. Here she comes. She didn't even bother to dress up. Still wearing those dirty old PJs. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, Don's going to go greet her. He's just having an instant meal there, but he's going to have to cut that out. We'll have plenty of food at his birthday party later on. Which he is really going to have to hurry. Come on. Come greet her. All right, and like I said, he's not going to waste any time. We're going to go straight to, oh, he's got to finish greeting her. All right, we're going to go straight to casual woohoo in the hot tub. Oh, my God, she just farted. Oh, you are so gross, Jennifer. All right, and I have started using some new rules. We are gonna allow townie pregnancies 
uh, from now on in my in both Pleasant View and Strange Town and the way I'm gonna handle this. So each time a male sim has a woohoo session with a female townie, I'm gonna roll a number between one and a hundred. If the number rolled is one through twenty, the townie becomes pregnant. So that gives them a twenty percent chance. This is the same 20% chance that my playable sims have of becoming pregnant through risky woohoo. So we're just applying the same rules to the townies. And if a female townie does become pregnant, she's moved into her own household or with the father of the baby if he wants, which I find that highly unlikely with romance sims. And then I'm gonna use the sim blender to make the sim pregnant by the correct father. And the new household is then gonna be added to the rotation and we have some fresh blood in the neighborhood. So that's how I'm gonna handle that. And if you're interested in reading more about uh, my townie pregnancy rules and all of my other gameplay rules, you can visit my blog at pleasantsims.com. And so I think Don and Jen here are going to woohoo soon. Looks like here they go. <laughs> there they go. And we are getting, we are running very short on time. So once they finish this, we're just going to be like, see ya, wham bam, thank you ma'am. She's going to be out the door and Don is going to set up for his party and invite everybody over. He's definitely not going to age up alone. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon and Don is throwing his birthday party. We're going to invite all his best friends. Dustin broke, of course. We are not going to be inviting all of his lovers. And um, we'll invite his children. Because old dirty PJs is still hanging around, I really don't want to invite his other lovers. But he really does have to invite Nina. I mean, she is his best girl. So he's going to invite Nina anyway. She's not the jealous type. She knows that Don sleeps around with other guys or other women. Oops. Don sleeps around with other women and she sleeps around with other guys. So they're not jealous. They, they love each other. We are not going to invite Dina, of course, but we are going to invite Eva, Primo, Rosa, and Gia, all of Don's children. And he gets along really well with all his kids. He's actually a very good father. We're also going to invite Daniel and Kaylin who have become very good friends with him. Um, now we can't invite Kaylin, so I'm just going to teleport her over. Don and Lilith do not get along. They are enemies. So that ought to do it. All of Don's children, Nina, Dustin, Daniel, and Kaylin will be coming to his party. All right, everybody is showing up here. Let's see who all came. So we've got Gia, Nina, Dustin, Daniel, Eva, Rosa. Everybody came. Oh, I don't see Primo. I, don't, I do not see Primo. Oh, I guess Primo couldn't make it. Well, he's away at college, so we'll forgive him for that. And then Kaylin is also here. First thing she did is go up and get in the dance sphere. <laughs> so everybody is going to have a wonderful time. Don has the perfect place for a party. He has the dance sphere. He has a bar and a hot tub and a stereo. I think everybody's going to have a great time. Now, what Don needs now is a barbecue grill. I think we're going to get him a barbecue grill to put up here so that he can grill for everybody. He can grill some food for everybody after he ages up. So I'm just going to go to appliances and find him a grill. He doesn't need anything too fancy. Um, this is a custom content grill that I have by Honeywell. Uh, Summer Meat Master. So we're going to buy that for him. And just put it up here. I think we'll put it over here. And then he can do a little grilling for the party. I think that would be great. It's... Well, it's winter. <laughs> it's winter and they're going to have a rooftop, rooftop hot tub barbecue. Don doesn't care. He's walking around in his Speedos. Where did he go? Oh, he got dressed. He got dressed. So Darren Dreamer came over and knocked over the trash can right before everybody got here because Darren really doesn't like Don. Uh, and Don had to go clean it up. He was not very happy about that at all. So what we're going to do now is I want to have Don go ahead and age up <laughs> and then we'll get the party started. Don is going in to blow out his candles, wearing his sexy speedo there. Look at those buns. <laughs> so all of his friends are coming in to watch him age up to an elder, all of his friends and his children as well. Daniel's happy that Don is going to be joining him in the elder life stage. Uh, Nina still thinks he's super hot, as you can tell. And here comes Rosa. He's like, call me Nina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now everybody's going to celebrate 
as he blows out his candles and makes a wish. <laughs> Look at how he's bent over. <laughs> Alright, come on, Don. And here he goes, aging up to an elder 60 years old. Don has had such a prolific life here in Pleasant View. Oh no, the wall's getting in the way. There he is. <laughs> now that Don's aged up to an elder, we are going to age up another townie from the neighborhood to be moved into the retirement home. And we definitely need some more men in there. So we're going to see who the next... Let's see... All right, I think it's going to be Kennedy Cox, unless there's anybody else here that he knows or is friends with, and I don't see anybody. So Kennedy Cox is the next Pleasant View Sim that I see on the list that needs to age up to an elder. So we're going to go ahead and age him up. Kennedy is a real jerk. He's very mean to all the other Sims. I think he's really going to stir things up over, the in, over in the retirement home. Oh, and we're missing out on... <laughs> on Don over here. So he's going to grab a piece of cake. Then we are going to change him into his regular clothes and out of this swimsuit so we can see what he's wearing. Don has grown into an elder. As an adult, Don achieved the aspiration level of Don Juan. That's fantastic. Life for Don can't get any happier or longer. He aged up in platinum status. That is awesome. He is now a certified silver fox. <laughs> And he is going to go listen to a dirty joke, talk to his guests. And we're going to have him change outfit because this is just ridiculous. Change into every day and let's see what he aged up in. Oh, that does not look anything like Dawn, does it? Let's check his dresser and see if we can plan a different outfit for him. I don't know if there's going to be anything in there or not. He's very tired. So he's going to have to have some coffee. I'm going to put Don in this tracksuit for now just until we can get him to the store to buy a new outfit because what he's wearing just does not suit him. Don would never wear this uh, stuffy sweater and tie. I really don't think he would. So um, we're going to, he does like the color black and I'm going to remember that. We're going to give him this tracksuit just for now so he has something to wear. That was the only thing in his... And we're also going to give him these. That was the only thing in his closet that he could, like, reasonably put on. The only other things in his closet are, like, Daniel's old clothes that he left here. And now it's time to really get Dawn's party started. We've got about 10 seconds left in the party and it is a roof raiser. Everybody had an awesome time. It's starting to snow on the rooftop and Don looks like he might just get lucky with Nina tonight. This has been a wonderful birthday party for Don. He had a great time. He threw an awesome killer rooftop party. Nope, looks like Nina's going home. <laughs> Everybody's leaving for the night. It's 1030. Don is exhausted. He's worn out. He's an old man now. It looks like Eva and Rosa, his daughters, are going to hang around and use his hot tub for a while, but Don doesn't mind. He is going to hit the bathroom and go to bed, and then we're going to find out if he impregnated the townie, Jennifer Walker. <laughs> so I'm going to go to random.org and roll a number between 1 and 100, just like I explained earlier, and we're going to find out if she got pregnant or not. Well, we rolled a 97 this time, and thank goodness Jennifer did not get pregnant, so she's not going to be uh, producing any more little dirty PJ's babies. Don's going to head off to bed after this very exciting day, and we will catch up with him tomorrow.
It's about 4.45 in the morning and Don is waking up like super early this morning, which is surprising after the party he had last night. He's just going to brush his teeth and freshen up. Now, I got a pop-up after he went to bed that he ha- is sick with the flu, so he needs to stay in bed. After we he takes care of his needs here, I'm going to have him call in sick to work. He actually really wants to go on a date this morning. I don't know if he's going to get healthy in time to go on a date, and I don't want to send him out whenever he's this sick. For now, we're just going to try to keep him at home, take care of him, get him over the flu as soon as possible, and then see if there's time for another date. Okay, so this is weird. It's 6 a.m. Don decided to take a bath. We got a pop-up that he's healthy again, and then we got a pop-up that he's sick with the flu again. So he got healthy, and then he immediately contracted the flu. That makes me think, are there roaches on the lot? Yup. So there are roaches on the lot that are making Don continuously sick. He, after he takes his bath, will go down and call the exterminator. Oh no, all of his birthday food is rotting down here because nobody (laughs) cleaned it up. Okay, so we have two things to take care of. We're going to call an exterminator, get rid of the roaches, and then we're going to call a maid to come and clean his house for him. Because Don's a slob anyway, and now he's got all this going on, and he's sick. He just needs to stay in bed today and let somebody else do the dirty work for him. He has 999 simoleons now, and if he use, hopefully he can use a sick day today and get paid for today as well. And Don's going to continue working in, until he rolls a want to retire or until he dies. And so far, he has not wanted to retire. Wow, look at his environment score went all the way down. So we're going to go ahead and call our exterminator first. Alright, somebody's coming over today. That was a lady exterminator. I bet he'd like to meet her. I wonder who, which maid he's going to get. It'll have to be Lucy, probably, or Remington. Let's find out. Ah, if Lucy, yeah, it's going to be Lucy Hamby, so she's going to come over today. That might be a potential uh, date for him, a potential woman for him to seduce, especially because she's going to be so close to him coming to clean his house. But I don't think he's going to have the strength to seduce her today. Instead, he's going to go lay down. We're going to let Lucy do her thing, let the exterminator kill the roaches, and hopefully Dawn gets well soon. All right, well, I just had Don call into work, and uh, he was able to take a vacation day. They totally believed that he was sick, which he is. Oh, great. Now his phone's ringing again. He needs to get out of this room. Let's have him answer it. And it's Hattie calling. Hattie is the downtown diva. The Don has had an affair with her previously. Um, let's look and see. He has two bolts with her, and he is currently in love with her. She's asking him downtown, but he can't go. He's too sick. Sorry, Hattie. Maybe another time. Don's got to go lay down. He's got to go run to the bathroom, first of all. And then he's got to go lay down. Don is up, just upstairs resting, minding his own business. It's about 1230 in the afternoon now. And look who's coming by. It's Angela Broke. And she just did a really nasty little laugh. I think she might be headed for the trash can. Let's see what she does. She was really like rubbing her hands together like ha 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 ha. Yep, she kicked over the trash can. Do you hear her laugh? That's so evil, Angela. So I want to talk about this for a second because I have changed my rules. I know when we were playing the Pleasant View Jail, um, I said that I was going to jail people for kicking over trash cans and stealing newspapers, but that seems like a little bit harsh to me. Instead, what I'm going to do is anytime I catch a sim kicking over a trash can or stealing a newspaper, they are going to be fined 100 simoleons that they have to pay to the city of Pleasant View for destruction of property or theft of property. And we totally just caught Angela. So once we get to her round, I'm going to make a note in my spreadsheet that she owes 100 simoleons and these fines are going to be paid in uh, to the mayor just like our Sims pay taxes. And that will also help us get more money for more community lots in Pleasant View and to pay the salaries of our city workers like Marsha Brunig and whoever we're going to get to run the orphanage. Okay, it's 3 p.m. and Don is healthy again. So now he has the rest of the afternoon off from work and we can kind of work on some of his goals here. He wants to ask a sim on a date, talk about hobby, dance with someone, and of course woohoo and fall in love with 10 different sims. Now let's see how many relationships he's already had. He's had one, two, three four, five. Well, he's had a relationship with uh, Kaylin, but he's no longer in love with him. So 
five that he's still in love with, and six if we count Jan Tellerman, which he's still in love with her. So he just needs four more to get these power wants of falling in love and woohooing with 10 different sims. So he definitely needs to meet someone new. Now, I wonder if Lucy is still hanging around here. Let's see if he could go talk to her. He loves redheads. So let's go chat with her. Lucy also had an affair with Daniel Pleasant whenever she was the maid over at the Pleasant house before Daniel and Mary Sue got divorced. Uh, Mary Sue, I believe, never found out about that affair. She caught Daniel with one of his co-workers, Andrea Hogan. Oh no, she's leaving. Okay, he, I think he's still coming down to talk to her. She worked all day on this house. It was horrible. And oh, she thinks Don is quite cute. Don't leave, Lucy. Come back. <laughs> Don's coming after you. Okay, she's gone. All right, well, now might be a good time for Don to go down to the bar and let's see if he could meet somebody. Um, he definitely needs to get some new clothes, so I think we'll stop over at the clothing store, uh, get Don a new outfit that suits his elder style, and then we'll go over to the bar for a drink and see if he can meet somebody. He wants to dance and go on a date, so I think going to the bar would be a good place to accomplish that. Don is arriving here at the clothing store, and of course he's re-rolling his wants to ask a sim on a date, slow dance with a sim, and meet someone new. So he's definitely on the prowl for another lady. Here is Vanessa Lewis. I don't know who that is. She must be a downtowny or a university towny or a Blue Water Village towny. I don't know. But Don's gonna go in and buy himself some winter clothes that more accurately reflect his personality. I've decided that I'm not going to be using the gussy up mod to cheat them clothes without having them pay for them anymore just because it feels too cheaty to me and i like them to go to the clothing store and buy their clothing the old-fashioned way i just find it more fun and i think it's more realistic so that's how i'm going to be doing things from now on so here's don's new look i bought him some black denim jeans and boots and a nice button-down sweater with a red undershirt don always liked a nice button down and he's fond of the color black I think he looks much more handsome, and this suits his personality a lot more. He's just not the kind of sim that would wear a tie under a sweater around on his days off from work. And look at his little chest hair poking out. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so here's Don's new look. He truly is a silver fox. What a good looking elder sim. So now Don is on the prowl looking for a new lady, and he's about to head over to the lost lady, Pleasant Views Bar, and see who he can meet. Dawn walked through the glass doors of the Lost Lady, shook off the cold, and sat down at the bar next to a beautiful blonde townie named Marissa Bendette. Confident that he still had his seductive spark even in his old age, he introduced himself. They hit it off immediately. Dawn was old enough to be her father, but that didn't stop him. Dating younger women is what kept him young after all. Before he knew it, hours had passed. He found himself lost in Marissa's big blue eyes and he was soon asking her to dance with him. Maybe he'd even ask her on a proper date if he liked the way she felt in his arms. What he wasn't expecting is who walked in next. Well, it appears we've run into trouble. Dawn just asked Marissa if she would like to slow dance. She said yes, and in walked Sandy Broody. Sandy is pissed. She is very mad at Dawn. She's like, how could you cheat on me? Sandy, I can't believe you would get this jealous over this. Sandy is a romance sim too. She is very upset about seeing Dawn with a younger woman. Even though Dawn hasn't seen her in like a, probably a couple years, Marissa's just like, okay, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go talk to this dude. I don't, I don't need this kind of drama in my life. So Dawn just got slapped by Sandy Broody while he was dancing with Marissa and all of his wants revolve around Marissa now. <laughs> Sandy's like, I don't even wanna look at you. How dare you steal my man? <laughs> Sandy, Dawn was not yours, and look at Dawn. Dawn's like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to go over here and do a little smussle and forget all about you. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I think we need to get Dawn and Marissa out of here. Dawn definitely wants to uh, continue his wooing of Marissa. 
they have two bolts together. Hey, he's still in love with Sandy, so he didn't lose lose her love, which is very good for his uh, lifetime want, which is to have 20 simultaneous lovers, and for his power want here, here to have 10 loves at once. So that's good. He doesn't even have to worry about trying to make it up to her. But he wants to fall in love with Marissa. He wants to smooch her, uh, put his head on her shoulders, lower his hand, so he wants to dance with her some more. And he wants to ask her on a date. I think he'll ask her on a date and they'll go back to his house to get away from Sandy. It was just bound to happen sooner or later, you know? He's going to get caught. So let's ask on date and see if she wants to go back to his house. After he finishes his muscle. <laughs> Sandy just walked away. She couldn't even take it. Oh, and look, he wants to be friends with Sandy again. That's so sad. All right, they are on a date now, but they're going to take their date elsewhere because I don't want any more drama with Sandy. And also, <laughs> Marissa's thinking about how she just got in between Dawn and Sandy, and she looks quite happy with herself. She looks quite pleased with herself. I think she's a little bit of a homewrecker. All right, so Dawn's going to ask if she wants to go back to his place. Okay, he cannot ask her back to his place, so maybe the relationship isn't high enough. I guess they're going to have to do a little bit of flirting here. Um, let's just have them talk a little bit. I don't think Sandy will uh, get mad again, hopefully. And she's also upstairs now. Oh my god, he's boring her. Dawn was totally boring Marissa. Um, she just wants to slow dance, play. Oh no, things are not going well now. Um... Get over here and tickle her. Give her a tickle. Give her one of those sensual Dawn tickles. <laughs> Alright, and now, I just, now they just want to dance with each other. So let's have them dance some more. Let's have them slow dance. He also has two bolts with Margie Francis over here. Margie Francis came from Sim State University. She was friends with some of our Sims, I think in the first or second generation. And then she came back and aged up with them. Look at old Dawn's fears. He's like, please, I don't want to get married. <laughs> All right, well, he and Marissa are friends now. Uh, but I think he wanted to smooch her. Nope, not anymore. So I'm going to break up their dancing and see if he can ask her back to his place yet. Dawn is just shameless. Alright, let's ask. No, he still cannot ask her, so they're going to keep going with their date. Um, Lucy Gardner, get out of here. You're in the middle of a date. <laughs> he wants to smooch her, which he can't do yet, so let's just start with a couple little kisses and see if we can work our way up to smooch and going back to his place. <laughs> Oh, she just got a crush on him, but he doesn't quite have a crush on her yet. Let's do another kiss here. Let's do a tender kiss. Aww. <coughs> okay, now he has a crush on her. Let's see if he can ask her back to his place yet. I didn't realize that there was a relationship threshold for this. But he still cannot ask her. Wow, okay. So I don't know, maybe it's love. Maybe he can't ask her back until they're in love. I don't know. But oh well, sorry Sandy Broody. <laughs> they're just going to keep on flirting right here. Alright, I just saw Sandy walk out the door and head down the street. So they are free for a moment. Hopefully none of Dawn's other lovers come in. He has not been involved with any of these uh, ladies that I've seen here at the bar. So I've just consulted my handy dandy Sims 2 Prima Guide for nightlife. It doesn't say how high their relationship has to be for him to ask back to place. I think their lifetime has to be above 20 because it looks like he can now ask her back to his place. Now the Sim is going to answer based on their personality so I assume more shy Sims will not accept and if she doesn't accept the date will end and she will leave. If she does accept then they can go back to his house. So he's going to ask her back to my place. He's saying hey baby how about you come back home with me I got a hot tub. <laughs> and she said yes the date is continuing and she is following him home. Don and Marissa are just getting back to his house. It's right after 11 o'clock. Oh no, and she just ended the date. <laughs> okay. 
She came home with him and then she was like, it's too late. I got to go. So that was the end of his date with Marissa. He's going to need another date or two with her before he gets her in bed and falls in love with her. Their lifetime relationship is only 29. So yeah, he still has some more work to do there. And she said, you're a great date, baby. We just have to do this again. So she had a good time. And I think she will definitely agree to see Don again. Uh, Don is really mad at Sandy Broody because she embarrassed him in front of Marissa, his younger and much more attractive lady. But he also wants to be best friends with her. So he's kind of conflicted. He's mad at her, but he also doesn't want to lose her friendship. So I think we'll have him uh, try to work on that if he continues to roll the want for it. Somebody was just calling him. He's going to go answer the phone. It would be so funny if it were Sandy. Let's see who's calling. Okay, so some townie is calling Don. Uh, Philip Stanley. I have no idea who that is. So we'll let Don talk to him and then he can... Oh, he, he wants to ask him downtown. Would you like to go on an outing downtown? Oh, I guess so. Don, he's not sleepy yet. He's still got some energy left in him. Um, but it's 11.36 p.m. and he has to go to work tomorrow. You know what? He's not going to be able to go. He cannot go. He's got to go to work tomorrow. He's older and more mature now. He's not going to stay out all night partying when he's got to go and do his best as a doctor. Because in case you didn't remember, Don is level 7 in the medical career. He's a specialist. So it's very important that he gets his rest so that he can be a good doctor. He does care very much about his patients. Um, he cares a lot about his love life, but he doesn't want to make any mistakes and hurt any of his patients either. It's Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Don has been up for a couple hours. He took a shower this morning, had a little breakfast, and paid his bills. Just did some mundane stuff that needed to be taken care of. And he's about to go to work in about 30 minutes. When he gets home from work, um, we'll see if he feels like going on a date. Right now, he wants to go on a date, and I think he probably wants to ask Marissa out. He's been thinking about her um, all night and all morning. He can't get her out of his head and he can't wait to see her again. So when he gets home from work, we'll see what he wants to do and maybe we can invite her back over and make this love happen for him. Don just got back home from work and he has a real problem with people kicking over his trash can. There's a dog over there in his trash and he keeps getting roaches. So we're gonna do something about that. Right now he wants to bring Sean McGuire home from work. Um, I think we're going to say no to that. And what I'm thinking he's going to do is pick up his can, clean this up, is I would like to lock this trash can inside the fence, which means we'll have to lock the fence to everyone except for Don, and then we'll just have to unlock it if he has visitors over. This is getting really annoying. Um, I'm just going to say allow household only, even though it doesn't really matter. He doesn't have anybody else in his household and then we're going to move this trash can right over here inside the fence um, so nobody can get to it because it's driving me crazy okay so of course don has all his wants he wants to ask us him on a date um, and dance with someone so he's going to call up marissa and ask her over for a date this evening marissa's on her way over and don is going to go and pull these weeds really quick before she gets here don't watch a movie, Don. <laughs> you don't have time to watch a movie. Your date's on the way and your yard is a mess and she's here now. He's just gonna really quick pick up these weeds. No, okay, I'm gonna stop him because he's gonna start trimming bushes and he doesn't have time to do that when Marissa's here. He's gonna go over and greet her. He wants to tell her a joke and entertain her. Let's see, entertain, tell, tell her a dirty joke. That's what she wants to hear. She is smitten with Don as well. She actually had a crush on him first before he even had a crush on her. And I'm thinking she's probably going to fall in love with him first too. She liked that. She's like, oh yeah, tell me some more dirty jokes. Talk dirty to me, Don. <laughs> he wants to talk to her. Let's do some smooth talk on her. And this reminds me, after Marissa leaves, we need to calculate Don's secondary aspiration. As he gets old, as he turned into an elder, he started to think about things differently. He's had a lot of time to reflect, and his personality is changing a bit. And we're going to find out exactly which way he's going to go, but we'll do that after the date. He keeps trying to bow to her. He learned that bow whenever he went uh, with Cassandra to Takamizu. What am I trying to do? Play. 
That was a long time ago. <laughs> when he was still married to Cassandra, they went on their honeymoon to Takamizu, and he learned that bow, and he tries to do it to everyone, and nobody cares. Everybody's like, what are you doing? All right, he wants to make out with her. Ooh, they can smooch now. Let's get over here and get a better view of this. Actually, let's have them go in because people are just walking by. And I know she's not supposed to be able to go in, so I'm just going to move her over so we don't have to unlock the gate. We'll have to unlock it for her to leave. Let's go in and get some privacy, guys. All these people are just walking by on the street, gawking. All right, let's do... Now he can make out with her. Oh, yeah. We're just going to continue with these interactions until uh, they want to woohoo with each other or they get to a dream date or some other milestone happens. We'll just have them keep going. Uh, what did he want to do? Flirt and give her a back rub. He's going to give her the goose. And now he wants to meet someone new. He's like, all right, I've had enough of her already. <laughs> He's already ready to meet somebody new. You have to get this relationship in the bag first, Don. All right. I think she just fell in love with him. He's not quite in love with her, but she just fell in love with Don. And uh, I just told him to kiss her, and he went, yes. <laughs> now he can propose. Oh, no. Don would never do that. Okay. Oh, he's got to run to the bathroom really quick. He's going to go freshen up, Marissa, and then he's coming back for you. He only needs about six more lifetime points before he's going to be in love with her. And he is getting closer to that those ten loves. Right now, he just wants to have a dream date with her and be a BFFs with her. She has no wants with for him except to go out, which they are not going to do tonight. Instead, he's going to come back and just continue to romance her and see where it takes them. Get over here, Marissa. Stop watching sports. You're on a date. Okay, Don has just fallen in love. Oh, that was fast. Don just fell in love with her. And since he does want to woohoo with 10 different Sims and fall in love, I think we can go ahead and have them woohoo. I'm just going to go through the casual menu and I'm going to do casual woohoo in bed. And then he's going to have one more notch on his belt. Marissa's making herself ready. She's getting undressed. Waiting for him in the bedroom. And here comes Dawn to join her. It did not take much convincing to get Marissa in bed. But Dawn is pretty charismatic. He can pretty much convince most women to sleep with him eventually. Let's zoom in. Like the creepy voyeurs that we are. <laughs> I love Don's undies with the hearts on them. Those are perfect for him. So after they finish woohooing, then we will roll to find out if Marissa got pregnant or not. And then we will calculate Don's secondary aspiration. So they're just cuddling. They're just having a cuddle here. Uh, making out. They're really taking their time. Dawn is a generous lover. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is getting creepy. This is rated R, I think. Rated R episode. <laughs> All right, here they go. Casual woohoo. It's about time, guys. You're making me feel like a big creep. Hurry up and do get this over with. <laughs> here they go. Ooh. <laughs> what was that sound Marissa just made? She's having a great time. Alright. Okay. So another one is done. Hey, what happened to his have 10 loves? Or woohoo with 10 different sims? He fulfilled his want to woohoo with 10 different sims. Now I know he has not woohooed with 10 different sims. So I don't know how uh, we got that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Marissa is nine. 
He's only woohooed with nine. So I don't know how we got the want fulfilled. Maybe it counted one of those public woohoos as a second one before I got the fix for that. I don't know. But he has fulfilled that power want to have his 10 woohoos. And Marissa says, wow, that was about the best time I ever had with anybody. I really want to go out with you again. Please, oh, please, oh, please. I can't wait to tell all my friends. (laughs) She's telling everybody about her night with Don Lazario. So now we're going to go over to random.org and roll to see if Marissa got pregnant by Dawn. I'm rolling 1 through 100. And the results are 30. She did not get pregnant. Lucky her. (laughs) And now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and calculate Dawn's secondary aspiration and see what kind of personality change is going to happen to him in his old age. I'm going to pull up his interests here. And if you're not aware, I do use interest to calculate secondary aspiration, and I use an aspiration calculator, which you can download from my blog, PleasantSims.com. Here are Dawn's results, and it should come as no surprise to anyone that Dawn is going to be a secondary popularity sim. Doesn't that just fit him perfectly? So we're going to give him the secondary aspiration of popularity because he loves making friends, meeting new people, especially women. And we're going to give him slower need decay and energy. Look at all these aspiration points he has. Hospitality, slower need decay, bladder, and energy. And I don't think I'm going to give him three-way calling. I think I'm going to give him life of luxury so he gets more vacation days. So he can take more days off to party and go on dates. And then he has one more. We'll give him business instinct. Wow. So as Don gets older, he just wants to meet more people. He wants to experience many more women, make friends with interesting people. And I mean, that's all he ever wanted anyway. Now he wants to woohoo with 20 different Sims. Okay, Don, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't think I'm going to lock that one in just because I don't think he's going to be able to achieve it. And I want to free that want slot for other things that we might actually be able to achieve. Don is going to have some fun in the dance sphere here. <laughs> Let's watch him. Oh my god. How did the... How did the trash can get knocked over? Okay, he fell out. The freaking trash can got knocked over in the fence. I don't understand that. <sighs> He's going to go pick it up before we get roaches again. What we will do is lock in Woohoo and Hot Tub. He also really wants to rekindle his relationship with Sandy. He is not feeling good about what happened between them. And he wants to meet someone new. He's already ready for a new lover. And he wants to be BFFs with Marissa. So we're going to be working on all that uh, in the next episode. And we'll go ahead and wrap up part one here, leaving Don to clean up his yard and get some dinner. Thanks so much for watching another Pleasant Sims production. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use or my gameplay rules that I use to play here in Pleasant View. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. For as little as $3 a month, you get access to my private Discord server, patron-only live streams, bonus videos, and more. So visit me at patreon.com slash pleasant sims for more information on that and don't forget to follow me on social media i am on instagram i'm on pinterest and i am on twitter thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you with part two of this episode very soon